Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to write equation of horizontal or otherwise called a sleeping parabola given a word problem or a graph. Now let's have a review on the basics of horizontal parabola. The parent equation of a horizontal parabola is x equals y squared. The equation in graphing form is x equals a parentheses y minus k squared plus h, where h, k is our vertex, and the equation of the axis of symmetry is y equals k. If a is positive, then the horizontal parabola opens right. When a is negative, the horizontal parabola opens left. Now let's move on to the first example right here. What is the equation of a horizontal parabola with a vertex at negative 2, 7 and passes through point negative 10, negative 5? There are two steps that we need to follow in order that we can determine the equation of a horizontal parabola given the vertex and a point. The first step is to determine the locator point and label this as hk and label the other point as xy and plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for a. Now, in this problem that we have here, since we say that this is the vertex, that means this is our locator point, we're going to label this as our hk. And then this other point that we have right here will be labeled as xy. So then we are going to plug this into the equation. So again, we're looking to do step one right here. Um, the a graphing form of a horizontal or a sleeping parabola is x equals a parentheses y minus k squared plus h. So then we are going to plug these values in. So first we have... Um, our x is negative 10, so I'll plug it in here, so that's negative 10 equals our a is missing, our y is negative 5, so I'll, I'm going to plug that in there, negative 5 minus, and then our k is 7, so I put in the 7, and then this is um, squared, our h is negative 2, so I'll put in minus 2 at the end for the h. Now, we are going to simplify this, so we can um, actually add 2 from both sides, so plus 2 here and plus 2, so this would give us um, negative 8 equals a, then this one right here would be negative 12 squared, this one gets crossed out, so then we are left with negative 8 equals negative 12 times negative 12 is a positive 144a. So then we want a by itself on this step. So we're supposed to divide both sides by 144, divide this by 144. So then we can cross the 144 out. So we're left with a is equal to negative 8 over 144. And this can be reduced to um, 8 goes to 8 one time so this would give us a is equal to negative 1 over 18 so what i did here is i showed the second step so i already uh, uh i already wrote it up here so the second step is to write the equation by plugging in a h and k into the equation in graphing form so the graphing form that we have for a uh, horizontal parabola is right here so that's x equals a parentheses y minus k squared plus h so the only variables that we plugged in would be a h and k so in this problem that i have here so i wrote down the x and then our a that we solved here is negative 1 over 18 we keep the y our k is 7 so i wrote that's minus 7 squared and the h is negative 2 so that means this is the equation of this problem up here at this time i would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own and when you're done and pause it and check your answer Let's go over this problem here. Again, our first step is to determine the locator point and label this as hk and label the other point as xy, then plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for a. So in this problem that we have here, this is our vertex. This will be h and this will be k. And this is the point where the graph passes through. This will be labeled as xy. So then we're ready to move on to the first step. So. So the equation that we are going to use is x equals a parenthesis y minus k squared plus h. 
So we plug the values in. Our x is 4. We are missing the a. And then our y is 1. Our k is negative 3. So the two negatives here, the first negative was from the minus. This other negative for, was from the k, which is negative 3. And then our h is minus 4. So then from here, we simplify this. So this would be, uh, we can add 4 from both sides, plus 4 and plus 4 here. This would give us 8 is equal to a. That's going to be plus and plus because there's two negative. So this would come out 4 squared, which is 16. So that is 8 is equal to 16a. We're solving for a, so we're dividing both sides by 16. Divide this by 16 so we can cross this out. Our a is uh, going to be 8 over 16, or we can reduce this to a is equal to 1 half. So this would be our value for A. Now we're ready to move on to step two. Write the equation by plugging in A, H, and K only into the equation in graphing form. So that's gonna be X equals A, Y minus K squared plus H. So we are going to plug in A, H, and K. So then the equation would come out to be X is equal to the A that we solved is one half, we have a y minus our k again is negative three squared and our h is minus four. So remember, two negatives will make it a positive right, right there. So we have x is equal to one half. That's gonna be um, y plus three squared minus four. And this is the equation that would work for this graph right here. Did you get the same equation as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to determine the locator point and label this as hk and label the other point as xy, then plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for a. So in this problem that we have here, this will be our hk, this will be our xy, and so we uh, write the equation of a horizontal parabola in graphing form. So that is step one right here is x equals a, that's gonna be y minus k squared plus h. We plug in the values, our x is negative six, equals a is missing, our y is negative four, minus our k is one, that's a squared, plus four. So then we uh, subtract four from both sides, minus four, so then we are left with negative 10 equals a. This is gonna be um, negative 5 squared, which is 25. So we can rewrite this as negative 10 equals 25a. Then we want to solve for a, so we're dividing both sides by 25. Divide this by 25, so then we, cro we can cross this out. So our a is negative 10 over 25, or this can be reduced as um, a is equal to negative 2 over 5 or 2 fifths. So we're now ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to write the equation by plugging in a, h, and k into the equation in graphing form. So that is x equals a, parentheses, y minus k squared plus h. We plug in a, h, and k. So then we, we have a final equation here as a equals negative two-fifth. That's going to be y minus our k is 1, and then squared, our h is positive 4. So that's a plus 4. So this is the equation for this graph that we have right here. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!